Okay, let's explore now how to place schedules uh, on sheet files of, of your project. Let me go back uh, to Open Buildings Designer and I will be moving to a 2D file, a sheet file uh, actually, because I like to place my my schedule as a table in a, in a sheet of my project. So this is a sheet pre previously created in my work set. And as I'm working in the same work set, all these schedules that, that I've created will be available here, of course. And here is my coffee corner uh, finish schedule. So these are the properties. Those are the properties that I that I configured to this schedule. And now I will be starting again from schedule properties. Go to the table tab to choose the seed of my my table. Those seeds are configured in a seed file of your work set or workspace. Now I'm choosing the blue theme table here and I will keep this checked uh, retain association. And now it's configured and even uh, selecting that seed in the schedule properties when I'm to when I choose here place table from schedule open buildings ask me um, uh, to confirm the seed, or I can uh, change here uh, this seed for the table. So retain association again, and I just say OK here. And here is the schedule with the annotation scale uh, chosen, with all the spaces uh, in my in my project here. Now I would like to filter this table because I have a lot of uh, void spaces here and spaces with the same name and spaces with uh, same categories, for example. And now I'll be working in the filtering and sorting these elements in my in my schedule. So I just um, actually I just placed uh, out of my sheet because it wouldn't fit here and I will be filtering to show only the spaces that I would like to work. Okay, let me go back here to the schedule window. Okay, again to space schedule. It's populating with all the elements. Okay. Okay, I would like to filter, for example, uh, elect spaces uh, and landing spaces and another kind of spaces that will not be occupied permanently in my building. So I can use uh, any of these properties to filter out these elements. And for example, I don't want to display in my table elect spaces. Uh, I will use the label property uh, and I can see here that for example the void spaces they all are all classified with the same classification omniclass 13 23 23 21 for example and stairs 23 25 11 0 0 let me see the same for landings. I will be filtering out these elements. Okay, let's go again to the properties here. And I go to filters tab and start adding search criteria. When I click this button, uh, I have a line here, a search criteria. And at property column, I have all the properties available from this catalog type, from the spaces uh, that I are in my in my table so for example I can choose here label and this is a logic operation logical test I don't want to show for example a lack um, spaces so I choose here not not equal to and at value and this menu opens um, all the labels that I have in my in my schedule and I can select a lack here and I can add another search criteria. For example, now I will be choosing classification omniclass, again, not equal to, and I can open the menu to display uh, for stairs uh, 13, 25, 
1100 and another one classification omni class again not to equal to because I don't want to show in my table and I can choose here uh, to void spaces that are 13 23 23 21 okay and I just say okay here it's been populating again just 50 items uh, without that lack spaces and void spaces I would like to take out uh, also the plan on spaces and I cannot use the label property because I have different names here but I can use the plan on omni class description for example then let's go to schedule properties again filters and another search criteria another search criteria omni class uh, 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 description where it is here not equal to I can type here plan on okay and let me go back here to end to have all these search criteria considered considered in my in my filter okay yeah here we go with uh, all these spaces okay. all right and now let's place this table in my sheet again and first I will be deleting the old one and to put a new one in the inside the sheet now if I choose here place table again open buildings ask me to choose a seed for the table blue theme again and I will keep retain association again and I will just say okay here minimize the schedules window and now I have my filtered schedule to put in my in my sheet here so this is uh, this sheet this table sorry it's already filtered with that settings that we've done now just a simple configuration to show how to customize some fields here if I simply select my table uh, open buildings designer opens um, layout tab here and I have a lot of uh, formatting tools uh, similar to Excel where I can choose title row, on and off, header row, and insert uh, rows and columns, uh, merge cells, split cells, and this kind of uh, configurations. And for example, here I just want to choose uh, a fill, a color to fill the, the background of my table, gray for example, and I say okay here, and now to uh, format this text I can simply uh, double click here and open buildings opens the text editor I can put it uh, like for example bold for example and accept here okay and with this uh, text uh, editor I can also choose some fields here like the version of the file the date or the revision number and things like that that will be automatically updated in your in your text in your table if you found this video helpful please give it a like if you want to see more such series consider subscribing to our channel thank you and see you next time